Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's April 19th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of close, April 19th, 2024, Clean Energy Fuel Score is currently trading at a value of $2.22 per share. Ranger Energy Services is up $0.14 cents and sitting at $10.85 per share. Evergy is up $0.80 cents and currently sitting at $51.76 per share. Republic Services Incorporated is similarly up $0.78 cents and ended the day at $189.75 per share, and Waste Management ended the day up $2, currently sitting at $207.12 per share. And sticking with finance for just a moment, first up in the news, according to a new financial forecast from FMI, the biogas market is estimated to be worth around $79.84 billion in 2024 and is currently projected to be valued at $147.08 billion in 2034. Within that decade, the industry is expected to register a combined annual growth rate of 6.3% a year. The desire to minimize greenhouse gas emissions and the global trend toward renewable energy sources in response to climate change concerns is a primary factor driving the expansion of the biogas market. As a renewable energy source, biogas is essential for lowering dependency on fossil fuels and diversifying the energy mix. And up next, the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Fossil Energy and Carbon Management announced this past week the selection of five research and development projects to receive nearly $8 million for the treatment and management of wastewater associated with oil and natural gas development and production, as well as the management of legacy wastewater associated with coal-based thermal electric power generation facilities. These projects are in addition to the $10 million for four projects previously announced in December 2023. And in the world of acquisitions, global energy and commodities company VTOL announced this past week the acquisition of company Biomethane Partners to create a Texas-based landfill gas to energy company they're now calling VTOL Biomethane, or VBM. The newly unveiled entity has four renewable natural gas sites in Alabama, Louisiana, and Texas, and is currently in development of multiple other projects in these states as well as elsewhere throughout the United States. Biomethane Partners was set up in 2021, and it was unveiled. It was bought by VTOL in September 2023. Chief Executive from VBM Mike Nowak even said, quote, We believe the combination of VBM's operational and development teams, coupled with VTOL's marketing and trading expertise, as well as its financial strength, creates the industry's strongest and most experienced landfill gas to energy company, end quote. And a really interesting story up next, as Green Impact Partners, a Calgary-headquartered company with RNG holdings in both Canada and the United States, is hoping to supercharge its Canadian RNG production with unharvestable grain. Construction of what they're calling the Future Energy Park is expected to begin this year, and the plan for the $1.2 billion facility is to buy 900 tons of weather-damaged non-food wheat to produce more than 300 million liters of ethanol. The material left over from the ethanol production would then be put in a tank for anaerobic digestion, creating an estimated 3.5 million metric meter BTUs, or roughly 3.5 billion cubic feet of renewable natural gas, clean enough to put into a natural gas pipeline. The final byproduct is 350,000 tons of distiller's grain for livestock feed. Green Impact Partners believes there is enough low-grade wheat produced on Canadian prairies to fuel another two such plants, in the future. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. And now moving to the American Northeast, New Jersey Resources, a clean energy provider, this past week said it will use renewable diesel from Nesta to fuel 70 medium-duty trucks and associated equipment. 
The Wall New Jersey-based company said in a news release that it will be the first natural gas utility on the East Coast to use Nesta's renewable diesel, a drop-in fuel that can replace or be blended with conventional diesel to fuel a portion of its fleet operations. The company said that its vehicles will use about 57,000 gallons of renewable diesel a year, reducing their greenhouse gas emissions by up to 550 tons per year. And now moving to Texas. In a press release this past week, Morrow Energy announced the ribbon cutting of their new Corpus Christi Renewables LLC landfill gas to energy plant. This plant, located at Cafe Venezuela Landfill, is specifically designed to convert landfill gas to clean RNG. Very notably, Corpus Christi Renewables is one of the fastest landfill gas to energy plants to ever come online, taking less than six months from contract execution to startup. According to Morrow's press release, the plant has doubled methane capture from the landfill and is already operating at runtimes exceeding 97%. And we have even more renewable natural gas projects coming soon, as AgGrid Energy LLC has proposed a new facility for Ionia County in Michigan. AgGrid has teamed up with Meadowbrook Dairy, a farm located in Lake Odessa, for the project. The project is planned to recycle 20,000 gallons of food waste and 100,000 gallons of manure daily. According to a project memo from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, the project would create over 120,000 metric meter BTUs of renewable natural gas and 4.8 million kilowatt hours of renewable electricity. And it's not just ag grid. Chevron's partnership with Brightmark is continuing to expand as the joint venture has opened another renewable gas center in Arizona, capable of turning dairy manure into biogas, expanding the company's joint efforts to grow alternative fuel sources through anaerobic digestion. The facility in Eloy, Arizona, uses animal manure from partner sites and converts it into RNG, fertilizer, and water. Those products are then recycled back into agriculture and energy systems for reuse, according to the company's announcements. Andy Waltz, president of Chevron American Products, said, quote, Moving to a future energy economy with lower carbon intensity requires ambitious goals, continuous innovation, and pragmatic solutions. Continued development in renewable natural gas projects creates new, lower carbon intensity solutions for transportation, industry, and customers. End quote. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for April 19th, 2024, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. 